Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I have a special guest. Come lean in. This is my son. He's getting married this weekend. So excited. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Uh, it's hard to believe that it's this weekend already. So in today's video, we're going to have a tutorial on how to make this Greek key mosaic border. sections of a lot of my videos, people have requested tutorials on mosaic crochet. So I figured today we would start with a simple border to just learn how mosaic crochet works. And then after that, we will choose a project to make a full mosaic crochet project. So today what we're going to do is this Greek key border. And we could use this on a blanket, on a garment. It really could be used anywhere. And it'll just give you a basic idea of how mosaic crochet works. And you're going to see it's really so easy. It only requires a chain stitch, a single crochet, and a double crochet. Those are the only stitches you need to know to make mosaic crochet projects. Also, I'd love it if in the comments you would let me know what kind of project you'd like to do for our very first full mosaic project. It could be anything from a blanket to a piece of clothing to a purse, whatever you think you'd like to do in mosaic crochet, and we'll tackle that together. For this tutorial, I just used a simple four-weight acrylic saver yarn. You can use any yarn you like with whatever corresponding hook. This is really just to get the feel of doing mosaic crochet. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for the Greek key border, I used two colors of Ice Yarn's Saver Yarn. It's a four weight acrylic yarn, and I used a five millimeter hook. And I'm going to begin with the color that I used for the actual key. First, I chained 28, and that's for this sample. If you want to make a longer length, all you have to do is chain a multiple of five plus three extra chains. Okay, so 28, one, two, three. Okay, so that's 28. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work back and single crochet starting from the second chain and I'm going to single crochet all the way back. So I'm just putting my hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Hook into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops all the way to the end. This is the first time I'm using Saver Yarn. And I have to say, when I first felt it, I was like, mm, it's, it didn't feel real soft. And it still doesn't when it crochets up, but it does have a lot of uh, structure so that your stitches are really crisp and pronounced. So that's nice. Um, but as far as softness goes, I'd give it like a three out of five. I wouldn't say it's that soft. But it doesn't split at all. And uh, it makes really nice looking stitches. So there's all different things to consider. and then fasten off. Okay, so we don't turn our work in mosaic crochet. Now what we're gonna do is start with our next color and the first and last stitch of every row is going to be the same. So I'm going to slip knot and you can leave a tail 
If you want to have fringes at the end of your item, you know, leave a decent sized tail. Okay, so for the first stitch here, we're going to go in like we would normally for a single crochet. Pull our yarn through, and then I chain to attach it, and then I'm going to single crochet into that same stitch. And that's how we'll start every single row in the mosaic crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet into the back loop only all the way across. So into the back loop, all the way across until I get to the second to last stitch. And then I will show you how we finish every row. So the first and last stitch of every row will be the same. We never turn our work. We fasten off and then start with the alternating color on the next row. And the beauty of the mosaic crochet is you have your pattern on the front and on the back, you just see stripes, which is really nice. Okay, so when you get to your last stitch, you're going to do a regular single crochet under both loops, then fasten off like that. Okay, so that is row two. Now for row three, we'll go back to the other color. For me, that's the teal color. And... Sorry if I knocked the camera there. I'm telling you, I had two cups of coffee this morning and I think it was not enough. <laughs> okay, so we're going to attach the same way we did last time under the in both loops of the stitch. And then we are going to chain to attach and single crochet into that same stitch like that. And then we're going to single crochet all the way across into the back loop, just like we did in the last row until we get to the second to last stitch. And then we'll finish it the same way we did the last row. So I'll meet you at the second to last stitch of this row. Okay, so for the last stitch, again, we go under both loops like a regular single crochet and then pull through and fasten off. Okay, so row four, we're going to attach the same way under the single crochet. chain, and then single crochet into that same stitch. And we are going to single crochet into the back loop all the way across. Until the last stitch, at the last stitch, make sure you do your last stitch the same way you've been doing all of the rows, which is to do a full single crochet. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, last stitch, we do a regular single crochet and pull through as if to chain and fasten off. All right, now here's where things start to change up. Okay, so we're going to take our main color or the color for our Greek key and we're going to attach our yarn as we always do into that first stitch we're going to do first a chain to attach and then a regular single crochet under both loops okay now for this 
we are going this row we're going to begin making our greek key design so we're going to do four single crochets into the back loop of the next four stitches two three four so it's one in each stitch i don't know if i said that correctly but a single crochet into the back loop for four stitches one two three four and then we are going to do a double crochet into the front loop of this row, the same color. Go into that loop there, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, like that. And you can see the design, how it starts to be developed. Okay, so now we're going to do four single crochets into the back loop. One, two, three, four, and then a double down into this loop in that row below. And we're going to just repeat this all the way across four singles into the back loop. And then a double down in front. That's the beauty of crocheting into the back loop. You leave these little loops here where you can attach and draw lines. And then on the back, all you have is stripes. It's really an amazing design. Okay, so four single crochets into the back loop. And then a double crochet down into the front loop of the row below. And just make sure you're grabbing the right front loop. You want to make sure that it's in front of the next stitch and then you're going to move on to the next stitch that one will not be you will not hook into okay so four more singles into back loops And then we're going to go into the front, do the double of the next stitch here. Okay. And then we're at our last stitch where we do our regular single crochet. And pull through as if to chain to fasten off. Okay, and now we're going to move to our white or our next color again. For row six, and we'll attach the same way underneath the first stitch. And we will chain and then single crochet into that same stitch. Okay, now for this row, we're going to start out with a double crochet in front. So here's our first stitch. We're going to double crochet in front there, like that. And then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch into the back loop. Then double crochet again down into this front loop, making sure we're working the right stitches every time. And then double crochet again into that front loop. And then we're going to single crochet at the top of this post into the back loop. Like that.
okay? And that's what that should look like. You're getting ready, as you can see, when I go back with my green, I'm gonna do a double crochet here, which is gonna create my design, okay? So again, we're going to double crochet in the front here. And we're gonna single crochet into the back loop. Then a double crochet into the next. A double crochet into the next. And then a single crochet into the back loop at the top of that post. And we're gonna continue in this pattern all the way across. A double into the front, a single into the back, two doubles into the front, and a single in the back. Okay, and for the last stitch, a regular single crochet, pull through as if to chain, and cut that off. And you've probably guessed by now, we are going to switch back to our other color and attach the same way. Under the stitch, both loops of the stitch, pull through, chain to attach, single crochet under both loops. And now for this row seven, we're going to single crochet in the back loop here. Then we're going to double crochet here. So we're gonna start creating that part where our Greek key comes down. And then we are going to single crochet for two into the back loop. And then we want this to come all the way up. So we're gonna double crochet down here into that front loop. And there you go, you can see it's starting to take form. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna single crochet here then a double crochet down here. Single crochet twice into back loops. And then double crochet to attach to this post and bring that line up. And see it's starting to form. Okay, and we're gonna continue that all the way across. So it's one single into the back loop a double into the front loop of that row before, two singles into the back loops of the next two stitches, and a double down into the front. And you're gonna continue that way all the way across to your second to last stitch, at which point you will end your row the same way you always do with a regular single crochet and a pull through as if to chain to fasten. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our background color and fasten on the same way we've been doing. Under both loops of the first stitch, chain to attach, single crochet into that same stitch under both loops. Okay, so now we're going to double crochet here into this first stitch, but down into the row in front. So we're gonna go down in front and double crochet. And this line is going to be the separation between our Greek keys. 
And then we're gonna single crochet into the back loop. One, two, three, four times. And then we're gonna do a double crochet down into this front loop again. And this row, what we're really doing is we're making separations between each of the Greek keys, as you can see. So four single crochets into the back loops. One, two, three, four. Oops, just lost my bowling arm. And then double crochet down into the row below. And you're gonna continue that way all the way across until you get to your second to last stitch. And then in the last stitch, you will do a regular single crochet, pull through as if to chain to fasten. And I'll meet you over there. Okay, and then in the last stitch, my single crochet and chain to fasten. Okay, we have two rows left and both rows are going to be using our Greek key color and to imitate what it looked like down here, rather than doing a double crochet in any of these rows, I chose to do a single crochet across and then another single crochet because I felt it mimicked the look of this. So I'm going to attach as I always do. And I do two separate rows. I don't turn my work because I want the ends to still be the same. So going under the first stitch, And doing a single crochet into that stitch. Oops, under both loops, there we go. And then I'm going to just single crochet all the way across into the back loop of each stitch. And I will end the row, the last stitch, the way I have been ending every row. And then into the last stitch under both loops, single crochet, pull through as if to chain, fasten off. And I'm going to use the same color again and do the same exact thing. I'm going to attach my normal way under both loops of the first stitch Okay, chain to attach, single crochet into that first stitch. There we go. And then I'm going to single crochet all the way across into the back loop of each stitch until I get to the last stitch, which I will end in the same way as all my other rows with a regular single crochet under both loops and a pull through as if to chain to fasten off. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, and there you have it. There is the Greek key border. I think that would be really nice on the bottom of a blanket, bottom and top, or if I'm making some sort of sweater, maybe along the bottom hem and along the bottom of the sleeves. Okay, so now that we finished our mosaic crochet swatch, you might be saying to yourself, what am I gonna do <laughs> with all of these ends? Well, there's a few things you can do in mosaic crochet. One, you can make a fringe end, which I've done on a blanket, and I really loved it. It's a fun kind of look. I made that one for my daughter. Another thing, you can do is create a border that covers up these ends. So when we go to do our mosaic project, I will show you what we can do with these ends. Don't worry, you won't have to weave in every single one of these ends. There are many solutions. 
Okay, so that was just an introduction to mosaic crochet. One quick note, since this weekend is my son's wedding, I probably won't be as quick to respond to your comments. I will respond to them. It just may take me a little bit longer. So just be a little patient with me, please. All right, so I hope you found that helpful and I hope you're looking forward to our first mosaic tutorial. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.